Hey guys, it's Trendy Tracy and I'm back. I don't need going good into that. But guys, so today I have um, a shopping experience for you, for you guys and myself um, from three different stores and they are all like home decor things because if you did not know a few days ago um what was that thursday to be exact september 22nd i want to say was the first day of fall and i must say like the the fall season is one of my favorite seasons of course summer is always my favorite because my birthday is in the summer but um Fall will probably be my next best season. And I just love fall because of the colors, um, the different smells you get outside, the leaf colors change, all that good stuff. You know, the music and violin, they start to play. Like, I really do love um, fall. So, of course, I tried to change my um, apartment because I live in an apartment, me and my husband and my doggy. But I tried to change my apartment to um, actually go with the theme or with the seasons um, because I can't always change it as often as I want to because of these coins. Yes, hence the name Talented Trends. Very frugal type of person. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get straight into it. Um, I will try to put um, the stores below and just for you to go see if your store may have it because of course these type of stores are more um they are widely everywhere but for me it's almost like a specialty store because they don't always have the same thing at every store so let's get into it so first i'll start with the stuff i got the least stuff from okay so i went to home goods and that was my last store, actually, me and Armando, and I think I have footage in a vlog about it, and I spent $29, um, and I got three things, which is not bad for home goods because I usually don't shop at home goods because um, that's really not into trendy Tracy budget sometimes. But they really have some nice pieces and I'm not sure of what I want to do with them. Oh, by the way, this, all this stuff I'm going to try to um, actually redecorate um, at least three different rooms. So I'm trying to use all these items to decorate my office space, my kitchen, as well as my bathroom. So this is my challenge to myself. Um, okay, let's finish showing you guys. Um, so like I told you guys, I went to Home Goods and I spent um, $30, $29.13 to be exact. So I was like, okay, I just want some accent pieces because that store can get expensive and I don't have a lot of coins. So I picked up this beauty right here. I don't even know if the camera is doing dust justice to it, but this is like a more rose gold candle um, holder. And this was $9.99 and I just really like it. And guys, it was made in China. <laughs> I feel like everything in the world is made in China. Well, everything U.S. is kind of made in China. But yeah, so I got this. And um, let me tell you about it. Okay, so we were walking through the store. And I was just like, oh my God, I don't really see anything. Let's go, Armando. But then I went by the glassware. And when I went over there, they had a whole display of like the different type of hues that I was looking for. And colors I was looking for for like... Um, not mainly for my kitchen and my office space, more for the bathroom because I feel like I got enough stuff for the kitchen and the office space. So I was just like, yes, I want this. And it was 10 bucks and I already have one, which is smaller that I got from Ross. And I was just like, I just want this one because it's the rose gold color and I think it will go good with the bathroom. Then, um, also in the glassware spot, um, I found a nice size vase, oh, vase or vase, 
And um, I'm going to tell you about the lady. Like, she wrapped this thing up pretty good. She used tape and everything. And here it is. It's this red vase here. Um, it is square. Actually, Armando picked this one out. And this one was also $9.99. And this is from recycled glass but guess where this was made in spain this was made in spain but yeah it was really nice um as far as the experience oh i got one more piece from home goods so i was just like i'm not really into a lot of the fall smells but this little good good pumpkin spice by Ches uh, chesapeake bay candle i wanted this so um, it got like a little burlap under here and um, I don't know if it's just for decor, but they got like little um, pumpkins on it, but I'm using this. I'm using this to put in these, put these candles in. I'm probably going to, of course, use one at a time, but this is definitely for my bathroom um, because in this apartment, our bathroom does not have a window, window and it only has the, you know, the air um, because I believe that it's. You have to either have a window or, a vi or some type of air ventilation in your bathroom. I want to say that's like a law or something. But yeah. So I got these pumpkin spice candles. And they were $6.99. Um, of course, you know, the best candles to me in the world is, um, I want to say Bath and Body Works. And then after Bath and Body Works. I think maybe Yankee Candle or whatever, but I didn't have Bath and Body Works money or Yankee Candle money, so I was like, two candles for $6.99, and they are very cute. I can't beat that. Even if I don't technically use these because they got them so decorative, um, just the smell, the aroma, I think will definitely go off in the bathroom. That's where I'm probably going to put these guys. Okay, so the overall experience in the store was, like I told you guys, I was on a mission to find something that I wanted, so it wasn't like, um, how could I put it? It wasn't like, I mean, it was very friendly. They spoke when, they, when I came in, which was really good because some stores, they don't need to speak or acknowledge you. So they spoke, and um, I didn't have anybody ask me for help, which is very unusual, but at the same time, it didn't bother me because... If you know me, I kind of don't want you to bother me as well. So they didn't, they didn't, um, they greeted, but they didn't really ask me for help. But I was kind of browsing through the store. They had a lot of nice clearance items as well. Um, of course, some of them were a little chips, or some of them was just, you know, I guess out of that season. They, if you went into a Home Goods, or if you don't know, Home Goods is affiliate of TJ Maxx, so they work together and. I want to say Marshalls too, but I'm not for sure about Marshalls. But I know Home Goods and TJ Maxx um, are like the same affiliate company. Uh, what else can I say about it? I had a nice um, cashier that rung me up. She actually liked her hair, so she told me a little story about her hair while we um, got these items. Um, of course, I got my receipt and everything, and she also told me have a good day. So that shopping experience was uh, probably a 10 out of 10. I like that one. Next door is going to be oh, Ross. Ross. And um, like I said, Home Goods and like Ross type of stores are specialty stores. And they're not specialty stores because but mainly you can't find always when you see something at these stores, you if you want it, nine times out of ten, you probably should get it or um ponder maybe for a day if that long. But so I was on the verge, well I wasn't on the verge, I did um, go in there looking to um, change our bathroom because we have two bathrooms and we have a guest bathroom and we have the bathroom in our room and I haven't changed the bathroom in our room in a while and we had in there, um, which I'm not ashamed of because they worked really well. We had Dollar Tree um, shower curtains in there on their last leg. Um, they lasted us months, so I'm so happy for it. But I wanted something more folly, and I just wanted to change the bathroom. So, um, me and Armando went in there, and of course, um, when we walked into uh, Ross, um, I think they, um, he's in the background. Babe, did somebody say thank you to us? 
I mean, say thank you. Say good morning or have, ha, hello when we walked into Ross. Yeah, yeah, I think somebody said hi or whatever. And we just started shopping. Okay, so most of the time when you go into like a Ross, they have like their little um, theme, thematic stuff. Like, um, well, ours was on the right. And I went over there and I found two foam rugs, but they were, um, I think they were $17. But Armando said they were too bright. They were very autumn plaid like I loved it, but he didn't. So I was like, we're not going to get it. But then we went actually into the bathroom area. And when we went to the bathroom area, I found a few rugs and stuff I like. Me, I'm more mix, mix matchy. So I try to place two different items together. And I found this like really fluffy rug yeah, that like I liked. You like to highlight accent color. Yeah, so I found like this mustard yellow, but kind of mustard yellow, but like a bright mustard yellow rug. And then I found these like pumpkin rugs. Which was, the mustard yellow rug was real nice too. Yeah, it I was. Liked, I didn't like the pumpkin. He didn't like the pumpkin, but it was a foam. And he told me he liked the foam. He liked the foam mats when he stepped out the shower. Mm -hmm. So... I don't really care either way because I just like don't like stepping on mats period Th thumbs thumbs up if you don't either like it just feels funny on your foot but he likes the phone one so I was just like okay I'm gonna get this but then I was like I had to get a shower curtain too and those two together one rug was 10 and one was seven so that was 17 um, dollars and I was just like eh, let's try to find a whole jewel so we end up finding a whole jewel and this is how it looks duo I actually like this. <laughs> Can you guys see it? I love this like shower curtain. Armando said it looks a little oldish. But I was just like, I like it and I'm going to use it. And it comes with everything. So it comes with the fabric uh, shower curtain. It comes with the hooks. And it comes with two memory foam rugs, which I'm so happy about because we like to put one. Um, we have double sinks. So we like to put one over there as well. And then it comes with this really cute, and it's like really cute. It's like this peachy color, peachy. And look, it reminds me of like fall, but springy too. I just really like this, so I picked it up. And I just thought so good this rose gold thing would go with it. So that was, and this price of this was actually $22.99. Then, you know, of course, I needed more decor to go with that because um, you guys know I'm also an organizer. If you didn't know, I'm also an organizer and um, stuff like that. So I have different things around the house, but I didn't have anything really to go with that. So I wanted to pick up another rug. And for some reason, I love these like shaggy rugs. I just love them. And our Ross, Ross has a lot of them. And this one went so well. It's like maroon green and like it goes with this more. Like you have to see it. You have to see it. Like Armando was like, I don't think it goes, but I know you can make it work. But I did a lot of undertones in this one and it's going to look so cute when I finish. I can't wait. And this rug was actually $7. So I was like, you can't beat that. And this will probably go somewhere in the bathroom as well don't know where but it will then also in there I picked up some potpourri and this potpourri is vanilla spice and I just like it because not only is it like a decorative piece but it has that smell so I think vanilla and pumpkin together may work it may not but um so it'll just give a smell to the bathroom because if we're not here, we do not like candles. And I hope no one else does. But So we wanted something to keep the bathroom. Like I told you guys, it is um, not, um, has a window. So we need um, some, we need some good smelling stuff in the bathroom. Just so you can walk into like a nice feng shui. And so that's why I got this. And this big thing was $7.99. No, I'll take that back. $6.99. Then I bought some, and this 
doesn't have anything to do with decor but i just wanted some i bought some coconut oil for my hair <laughs> because i need to moisturize my hair and this was seven six ninety nine as well then armando was supposed to be looking him for him some work shoes but that didn't happen but he did find these um sixteen dollar adidas and they're kind of cute and mm, if you know my husband he don't buy a lot of stuff for himself so but he does buy shoes so i should take that back he buys a lot of shoes but these shoes are really nice so i approve them <laughs> and that is all i got for ross um so we did spend um less than 60 bucks in there well less than 70 it was 64 so um yeah that wasn't too bad for all the stuff i feel like we got especially when you're decorating and you go to pier one which is one of my favorite stores but i had to go straight to the clearance because pier one is expensive as well as i've never been to a z gallery but i'll wait till that's in my coin budget okay and then the last big one guys and i don't want to be talking to you oh and so the experience in that store no one asked us if we needed help but everything was where it needed to be um it was actually pretty clean um in the store um if you don't know i live in south carolina and the ross i went to is located on two notch and it was really nice of course i told you they did greet us we didn't have any help but they were working and um Everything was kind of in its space. Sometimes when I go in there, you like, it's really empty, but it was really full with things. And maybe because the season is changing, but it was a good experience at that store. So, um, what else? So, that store, I probably give it 9 out of 10. And I, I guess I just didn't give it all its, um, I don't know why I didn't do a 10 out of 10. Maybe because... I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess a kid get a 10 out of 10. Jeez, just give him the whole 10 out of 10. So, of course, the next store is my favorite store. And the store that I be like, I'm splurging because I bring out five bags and they full, you know, is, of course, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree, if you know, is a dollar for everything. So, let me get right into it. Um, dollar Tree did not greet me when I came in, but... It doesn't really matter, but I went to, and that's the first store I actually went to, and to pick up some stuff, and I've seen a few things that I like. Um, of course, they have these cute little pumpkins. I didn't know this one made noise, so we got a pumpkin that makes noise, but it's like so weird. It's so like ugly, but so funky at the same time, so I got this one. I got this one, and these are glass that I'm showing you now. This is like a ceramic one, and it looks like this. And then I got this one, and then I got another glass one in the color white. So those are like pieces um, that I'm gonna put somewhere in the kitchen or somewhere like that. Um, then I got these vase or vase, whatever you wanna call them. And orange and red they always kind of have these but um the store my dollar tree recently just got renovated to look like another dollar tree out here and once again i live in columbia and i went to dollar tree on two notch but um i like that dollar tree sometimes but sometimes they don't have a lot of stuff or they do have their stuff but for some reason their stuff is always on the bins so like either you have to open them up which i don't think they like for you to look through their stuff but some people open it up and you know sometimes i'm like the little follower and i'll check and see what, I, what if i need something out of it but yeah so this time around they had a few fall things out so i got these two of those and what else i get oh i got some wine glasses because if you don't know, I have, I think I have something up about my kitchen, but I have four wine glasses. I was like, I want to switch them out and have these fall ones. So I got four of those. Um, of course, it's only just me and Armando, but I just got four because sometimes four is better than two. <laughs> Take that how you like, but yeah. So I got 
four of these um right now i can only find two to show you guys so i want to move on oh i found the other ones so i told you guys for those we don't even need to see those um then there which is very very not sales or very seldom that their flower flower display was on fleek like they had everything every type of flower and it looked so good i don't know if they got new management um one of the managers i actually know but the store well that part of the store looked really nice so i picked up all this assortment for fall season i got like five things i got these like these the pretend grass this these this and where can i just say something this. for a second my wife hates real flowers i do she hates live flowers but she loves fake flowers i do if i if i buy her real flowers she would look at me like i'm crazy but she loves real flowers Fake flowers. What, what in the world is wrong with that? Like, what's wrong with the people? Take like, who else is like that? Like, I don't. They, these will last forever. <laughs> a real flower will die. It's very beautiful. I don't think flowers smell good, so these don't have a smell, and they just last a long time. My wife is weird, people. So then, also, excuse me, me on the same, you know same type of kick I picked up this orange and red cute little lanterns to put little um, candle holder it's candle holders of course put little candles in so I got that as well I'm trying to hurry up guys I don't want to be too long then I got the oh so I got some more these are actually foam but these are for decoration so I got these foam foam ones because the foam ones was actually a little cuter than the other ones. You see they blamed out so I got this one in glitter. I got a lot of glitter ones. I got this one. So I got this one. And I got this one. So they're all different like types of glitter and stuff like that. And then they had the pretend corn like the um the different types of corn. It's so cute. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I just loved it and you know it was a dollar so I'm like hey throw it in a card and then I also got this little cute thing that said give thanks of course we always got to give thanks to whoever your higher power is but my higher power is Jesus Christ so yes I'm going to give thanks and I'm thinking this will probably go somewhere in the kitchen or even on my door because we haven't put anything on the door yet or maybe even in my... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I just picked up all this stuff. As far as my... Oh, and then, guys... And I'm definitely taking these back. I don't know what I... Like, I'd just be so excited because it's Dollar Tree. But I bought five pairs of napkins. Five different things of napkins. I bought these last year, guys. So I have a lot left. I thought we used all of them. So I'm going to take probably all these back and get something else for my five bucks because I literally spent a dollar for 36 napkins. Sometimes you have to think a Dollar Tree because just because it's a dollar, some things are not just worth a dollar. So I don't know. I might keep the red because I didn't get red last year. I know for a fact I got orange, yellow, green, and then this little fall one. So I might keep the red ones and take these back and get something else for my, my dollars because, um, I think I want something else from there. Um, guys, so let me tell you about the experience there. Of course, they did not greet me when I came in the door. Um, they usually don't greet you. Um, I talked to one of the managers, and I just was asking her a little question. She was really nice about it, you know. Of course, she, you know, was still working or whatever. And um, they changed the store around. Um, they need to put... Um, up, I guess the signs because because they changed the store. If you've been a frequent shopper there, you're looking for different things in different aisles, and I don't think so. Maybe they're not done with remodeling, but yeah. And then they were working. One lady, one um, Dollar Tree lady, did speak 
once I was in the store walking around. She said hi. Um, of course, no one ever offers help, I feel like, in Dollar Tree. Never had that happen. And no Dollar Tree I've ever went to. Um, of course, this stuff is a dollar. So sometimes you can find some nice things. Sometimes you can find some janky things. It just really depends on what you're looking for. Um, what else? Oh, the line issue was horrible. It was only one line. And it was like at least seven people in the line. And me alone, I brought all this stuff. And by the way, by the way, my total came out to like $33 in there. So I had so many items. There was a few other people that had items. And even though they seen the line keep getting longer, they didn't stop what they were doing. Um, one guy was just walking around. So my experience uh, for that visit was actually probably like about a 7 out of 10. Maybe even a 6 because they had like carts and stuff in the aisle. But I feel like, all, well, I don't know about everybody else Dollar Tree, but <coughs> excuse me. Every time I go to that Dollar Tree, they have abundance of things on the cart that's not put away. I don't know if the night crew don't do what they're supposed to do or I don't know what's be, what be going on. Um, their balloon section was like kind of bad, even though I wasn't going to the balloon section. Like literally it was like carts. I was coming from the uh, balloon way and it was like a lady right there. Like, But, but because they had so many carts in the way, <coughs> excuse me, I couldn't get past. So that's why I get out six out of ten because of the line, no greeting. Um, just the store overall not being good and uh, I think that's about it Um, I hope that oh so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope something was said or done that makes you want to come back and I am going to put up my challenge video after this to challenge myself to put all these rooms together with the stuff that I brought. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs it up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Leave your comments below. Let's interact more because I like to talk as you can see. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to stay safe, be positive, and be blessed. Talk to you guys later. Bye.